welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you six of the most common chord progressions. This is the first video in a four-part series about common chord progressions and how to play them on the guitar. For this first lesson in this series, we're just gonna talk about two chord chord progressions, chord progressions that just have two chords total, which are some of my favorite progressions, actually. So it's gonna be fun to hang out and play with these and talk about them. And then the other videos in the series are gonna get increasingly more complex. So we're gonna go over six of those common chord progressions with two chords, and I'm gonna jam on each one a little bit so you can hear it. And I'll do it in a couple keys sometimes. And I'm gonna specifically teach this to you with the Roman numeral numbers so we understand the theory of the chord progression. If we're working on a chord progression outside of a specific song, and really anytime, I, even with a specific song I do this, we wanna think of the chord relationships, the chord numbers. I did a huge series on chord theory on the guitar from the ground up from easy from beginner to advanced I'll put a link in the description to that series if you want to learn about chord theory on the guitar uh, starting from the beginning and learning about all kinds of really cool concepts this was going to be part of that series but uh, it's really going to be its own series of, of four videos because there's so many cool chord progressions to talk about over the whole series, we're gonna cover 28 progressions, and this is just the first six of them that have two chords each. If you wanna follow along and try out these chord progressions for yourself in various keys, grab my free download that is a chord chart, a uh, music theory chord chart that is super cool, super detailed, shows the chord theory numbers of chords, shows chords through five different keys and a bunch of variations of them, so you can use that by using the Roman numerals that we learn about here and practicing these exact chord progressions in several keys. There's a link in the description to grab that if you wanna use it to follow along and just have an awesome chord theory chart to play with. When we work on chord progressions with the relationships in mind, with the chord theory information, the Roman numerals, we are practicing thousands, if not millions of songs at once. This is totally the way to work on this and do it in various keys. Then when you do, when you are working on specific songs, you will recognize the information and learn it so much faster. You will remember it so much longer. We can obviously then use that information to come up with our own chord progressions when we're writing stuff much, much easier and have more options to play with. And then we're also improving our ear a little bit, starting to recognize um, sounds by having these labels that we put on them. So with that all said, let's dive in and talk about these chord progressions. <laughs> I'm Jared from SoundGuitarLessons.com. I talk a lot about theory and mapping out the guitar on this channel. If you're into that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified for every lesson. Our first two chord chord progression is going to be the one chord to the two chord and back and forth. And so all of these, because they're two chord chord progressions, you might think this is not that big of a deal, but don't underestimate how powerful and how awesome a two chord chord progression can be. Um, it's used in tons of songs. So if you recognize a chord progression ever, or you recognize that one of the ones I go over is in a song that you know, put it in the comments. I'm gonna mention maybe some songs that I think of with these chord progressions, but certainly it's not about a list of songs. So that'd be cool to have a resource for that in the comments. So the one chord to two chord, and again, we wanna be able to think of these things in all kinds of various keys. So right now I'm in E, just going one to two just super fun to jam on this stuff. I mean, it already reminds me of a bunch of songs, but it also makes me feel like I am already starting to write my own song, right? And so um, I like to play around with these things in different, uh, with different textures and kind of jam on them. So that reminds me of the song um, Ooh La La. I, th I actually, I, I think that song is by The Faces. And I think it's in D. And it's just one. A lot of songs use this progression in this key too. So that's one song. I also think of this progression, the one to two chord, as kind of a reggae progression. It's very common in, um, in uh, reggae progressions. Couple different ways I do a reggae feel. Sometimes I'll do that kind of down with the clicks or just up. Um, so it reminds me of that. I was a big fan of the Clash. Um, 
in uh, my teenage years and still am, but that was a, a really influential band for me. And uh, on their uh, their debut record, they did a cover of the song Police and Thieves by Junior Mervin, the, the reggae artist. And so I actually don't remember what key um, that is in, but it is that progression. It's a one to two chord. Um, so if I maybe do that in, let's see, in D, like we did before. We get that one to two chord progression. Here's a cool way to play that progression back in E, where you might play the two chord, the F sharp minor, with this shape that is uh, fret four, fret four, and fret three on strings five, four, and three. So this is a complete chord, five, one, and flat three, but then leave the rest of the strings open, which create this very open sounding, it's like a minor 11 chord. Um, and if E is in the bass still, then it's like um, F sharp minor 11 over E, which is kind of cool. Very floaty. I like this a lot. Probably written like three songs with, with that like progression. And then um, I like to connect things too. I'll just, I'm just kind of talking through this like I'm just kind of jamming with these, which is I think is what's fun here. Um, so with any progression, if you just take this note, uh, take any two notes that are going to be next to each other, say there's a whole step apart between this on E and this on F sharp. Well, I like to connect these notes to get a uh, chromatic sound. So there's so much variety. There's so much power you can do with this. Um, you can also start to add um, extensions like we did here, sevens and stuff like that. My chord chart that I talked about at the beginning actually has options for every chord with, you know, if you add the nine, if you add the 11, if you add extension. So um, it's a it's a cool way to get unique progressions out of something so simple like the one to two chord. Okay, the next progression is just one and four. I love this progression. I could just, I could just play all day just one, four, one, four, or write songs with one, four, or listen to them. It's just, it's just so, um, such a feel good progression. Cause the four chord kind of embodies a lot of what is consonant about the one chord also. You'll see this used a lot, C major to F, but keeping that E open, which makes it F major seven, so. You know, any kind of rhythm or variety you want, you can hang on this for a lot longer. Hear how that works, right? A lot of progressions do this. listen to any singer songwriter you're going to come across uh some songs that are just one four one four or listen to like the latest like indie discover playlist or something like that um and it's just happening all the time and it feels so good it just always feels good um so if i do that in like d play this d chord i'll throw that open e in there for some color and then So I'm adding extra notes, but here's another just normal D. To four. So I'm playing around within different kind of rhythms, adding different color notes and playing in different keys because this is the kind of fluency that I think is important, right? What's the use of knowing some, some really complex chord progression for one single song? It's great for that one single song, but just even two chords but knowing it so deeply that we understand the theory and playing through all, all different keys, um, that's where we're really kind of speaking the language of music or expressing ourselves, getting to express ourselves. So um, I just re recently watched the movie called Stranger Than Fiction that has uh, Will Ferrell in it. And he, there's a scene where he plays a song because one of it was like a character and he, one of his dreams was to play guitar. So he started working on, um, on guitar and he said, this is the one song I know. And it was this progression. The whole thing. Doing that kind of like pop punk muting thing. So as an example of, hey, there it is, one four, back and forth, back and forth. Our next progression is the one and six chord. So let's take this for, and, and think about it through five keys. Um, if you just think C, A, G, E, and D, kind of the cage system thing, but just those are great five open string keys to, to play in. So if you think, okay, what's my one and six chord? This is something to do with any chord progression, any song even, just think, okay, what, what are those chords with those chord numbers, one to six in all those keys? So there's, there it is in C. 
Okay, so how about an A? There's A. Maybe I'll play A here. So we all know this chord progression too. Also just a great chord progression. Um, then G. And this is the Hallelujah progression. Okay, if it's an E. One to six. And if it's, if it's an D. The song Anna by the early Beatles uh, uses this D to B minor. Uses one of those connecting notes. So you see how just with these two chords, so much variety, so much sound when you're playing with different keys, different tempos, different strumming patterns, different time signatures. Hallelujah is in three, four, or six, eight, and. Um, and then these connecting notes, it's like amazing. So just, I could just play with these all day. The next progression is what I sometimes refer to as the bow diddly progression because it's a one chord and then down to the flat uh, major seven chord. So it's a, uh, or it's uh, the flat seven major chord is kind of the more correct way to say it. So one, one, and then if this is one, you know, in the key, usually this note would be here and the chord off of it would be, um, a diminished chord, but it's a flat seven major chord. Kind of a, that early kind of rock and roll sound. And we're gonna talk in one of the later videos in this series about variations of these. But if we take this one to flat seven progression and we just turn it minor, so kind of doing a variation on it already, um, a lot of progressions will do that as well. Um, Neil Young, Heart of Gold, E to D major, back to E. So that E minor is the one chord. Back to the, the one chord, one, flat seven, uh, flat seven major, one. Um, also that Gautier song, Somebody That I Used To Know. One minor, flat seven major. I think it's in that key. Uh, yeah. The next progression is one, five, one. And actually I should say one, five, five, one. So however long you spent on one, you spend twice as long on five and then one again. I really like this progression a lot. Um, it works in major or minor keys, but let's just go ahead and do it in, um, let's do it in E again. So let's say we actually spent four measures on this. We hang here for twice as long. Feels like a lot at this tempo. So we'll do it shorter. So we'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, stay, then back. So I, I really like that progression a lot. Um, it's, it's very powerful, just the one to five, one, five, five, one. Our last progression for this lesson is the two, five progression, just two, five. This is a very much kind of a standard progression in jazz that's used all the time. Not as often just kind of by itself exclusively for a while, but I included it anyway, because it's so um, useful for um, so much music. It's actually used in classical music all the time, and that's kind of where harmonically jazz music um, started borrowing it from and popular music of the early 20th century and stuff like that. Um, and it's still used all over the place, but totally on its own, you could you could do a, like a, just a vamp, which is just like repeating two, five, and that's a cool way to kind of sit with one progression. like the song Wave. Two, five. You could improvise on that for a while. 
before going into the song. So again, find it in a few different keys. D minor seven, G seven, that's in the key of C. Um, B minor seven, E seven is from the key of A, um, et cetera. A minor seven, D seven is from the key of G. And I'm adding sevens to all these, but you don't have to. And you could do A minor triad to D major, and it's a nice sound as well. Again, if you want to work on these and play them in various keys and just get the chord shapes right in front of you so you don't have to think through that stuff if you don't know them already, grab my chord chart. It's called Chords with Color. It's super cool. It has a bunch of theory information with the Roman numerals, the chord tones involved, extensions added. You'll see how cool it is if you want to give it a try. There's a link in the description to grab it. And then I recommend playing around with these six progressions, these six two chord chord progressions and starting to understand them well. And I bet you you'll start hearing them in music and in songs that you're listening to after you start internalizing them more in this way, thinking of the theory, playing in various keys, jamming, adding connecting notes, adding extensions, playing in different time signatures and rhythms. And then, like I said before, put in the comments if you know of any songs that use any of those progressions. I wanna start a list down there, which would be really cool for, for people to go check out and see what songs are using these. Awesome, thanks so much. That's it for this lesson. Stay tuned for the next in the series where we're gonna do three chord chord progressions and go through more awesome music that way. Take care, happy practicing. See you next time.